What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with Dust Main Necrozma in Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Dust Main Necrozma, the thing that stands out about this Pokemon is its physical attack stat. Standing at a whopping 157, this thing hits like a truck. Furthermore, we're rocking Swords Dance on this Pokemon today. So if we can pull off Swords Dance, we're gonna get rolling out strong with this Pokemon. But Necrozma over here is Psychic and Steel, a pretty solid typing with Prism Armor as its ability to reduce super effective damage taken. It also has Clear Amulet as item, and it's Rock and Protect, like we already mentioned, Sword Dance, and then it has two heavy hitting stab moves, Sun Seal Strike and Photon Geyser. Now, Frigoraph is also on this team because it is going to be the Trick Room setter for this squad, considering this team is pretty much a Trick Room team, besides, obviously, Fluttermane. Frigoraph going to be great with Armor Tail, Safety Goggles, Helping Hand, Trick Room, Hyper Voice, and it even has Shadow Ball. Another Pokemon that thrives out in the Trick Room is going to be Ursa Luna, Life Orb, Mind's Eye, Protect, Hyper Voice, Earth Power, and Blood Moon as its moveset. You guys seen that plenty of times, Ursa Luna just top tier within the Trick Room. Our final three Pokemon on today's team is going to be Incineroar and Moongus, and also Fluttermane. Fluttermane's there for special attacking, and for a little bit of speed control with Icy Wind, and then Incineroar and Moongus kind of just there for support. Moongus can Rage Powder, put Pokemon to sleep, Incineroar can Intimidate, Fake Out, Parting Shot, you guys already know the deal with that Pokemon. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's showcase Dust Main Necrozma in Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Regulation G, we pretty much showcase every single new restricted Pokemon added into this format. So at the time when we finish up with these Pokemon, we'll probably be very close to Rank Ladder coming out. So we'll probably start showcasing ranked teams, or if rank's already out, we'll just be playing on the rank ladder. But when we're done with all the regulation G teams, we're going up against a Solgaleo team here in match number one. Actually, a team that I showcased with Tailwind Moltres. Furthermore, they got Gouging Fire. They got Bulldoze on the uh, Sandy Shock. So that is something we're going to have to watch out for because weakness policy, definitely really scary. But we're going to want to pop Trick Room here. And I think going into Frigraph and Incineroar probably our best bet. I do like that the best because we could just fake out stop whatever's happening and kind of just get off trick room right away so that is going to be my play right there so i'm going to do that i'm going to go necrozma here and i'm going to bring ursa luna in the back end because i remember using this team and i'm pretty sure counting trick rooms a pain it's an absolute pain so i'd love to just get incineroar for a graph out here pop trick room and then hopefully get necrozma next to ursa luna and then we do some big time damage. We love it. <laughs> we love it so much. But we'll see who they want to lead here. Because this team actually really strong. I think I played really well with using it. So we'll see. We'll see what they want to do with it. So they're going to originally throw out Sandy Shocks and Sokaleo. So they're just looking to pull those. No big deal. No big deal. But um, who should I fake out here? I mean, I'm trying to remember their... Uh, I'm trying to remember their terror types. I don't believe any of these guys have ghosts, right? I don't believe they do. So, Galea, what is your terror type? I don't think it's ghost. I really don't think it's ghost. So, I think I'm pretty free to just go trick room and just fake it out, right? I know you're clear I know that already. I think, I think we're cool with that. I think we are cool with that. I think that's totally fine. And then from there, we can use knockoff, get rid of clear amulet, and they just protect Sandy Shock. So, this is a free trick room. A free trick room out and about. Beautiful. Fake out, clap. Negative six damage, but we are going to flinch on top of that. Cool. Love it. So Trick Room's going to fly here. Um, I think from here we could just start doubling down into Necroz. We're not Necroz, but Solgaleo, right? Definitely probably want to go for Knockoff into that. Could go for Hyper Voice. Could go for Shadow Ball. We got options. I think we're just going to double down to Solgaleo here. I think we just double down and take off this item as well. So there's a Shadow Ball. Bop, big time damage. Are they going to go for Bulldog? That's the real question. We're gonna pop weakness policy. Are you gonna go for bulldoze? Is the real question. That is the real question. Now I don't care if you KO one of my Pokemon. I really don't because then I already have to off trick room and we can just get thriving from there. But knockoff gonna do a decent amount of damage here. And there's gonna be a rock side. So is this KO in Incineroar? It's not. What are you going for? What are you going for? Kind sir. I'm kind of hoping you just pick up double kills. Be honest, I want to get in a cross next to Ursula. And you are just gonna go for a bulldoze, so you're gonna slow down everybody except for Solgaleo, pretty much helping out everybody except for Solgaleo. That's fine, that is fine. Now, how many turns are left in Trick Room? Three, right? Yeah, we have three turns left in Trick Room. And to be honest, I think from here we kind of just drop a hyper voice and we go into a Flare Blitz. And honestly, we try to KO Sandy Shocks because with Necrozma 
and uh, and Ursa Luna. I don't mind having that same or the uh, what's it called the Solgaleo on the field. So obviously I could have KO'd the Solgaleo, but I kind of wanted to drop a Rock Slide here, pick up a double KO. I kind of just want him to double KO. But out, then comes Sunseal Strike. That's going to finish us off. No big deal. We'll have two turns left in Trick Room with Ursaluna and Necrozma. And I feel like we can thrive, especially if they don't have Protect on their back end, on their back two Pokemon. I wish we would have had one more turn. Maybe I should have Parting Shot last turn. I don't know. I think we're fine. I do think we're fine. But now I get to bring out Necrozma, Ursaluna, both with 204 HP. Pretty bulky, if you ask me. Pretty bulky. Pretty bulky. And we still have Terra as well. So honestly, Hyper Voice for KO, we might as well Sword Dance, right? Hyper Voice for the double KO. Sword Dance popping out here. I'm cool with that all day. They might even protect. They might even protect. So now we're setting up Sword Dance on top of all this. Which is a pretty big problem here. And he's just gonna protect Sokaleo. Are you gonna double protect here and just waste out Trick Room? Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. So we'll have one more turn left in Trick Room, and honestly, I probably should just Sword Dance again. It makes the most sense to just pop a sword stance, correct? Double down on sword stance. Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense because Ursaloon is going to pick up the KO. They might go for a double, double protect, right? I mean, that's what I would do. But honestly, let's just go Hyper Voice. Let's go for another sword stance. They're pretty free. The sword stance are free right now. They're super free. They're as free as they come. Because, again, Ursaloon is just going to pick up the KO regardless. So there's no point of attack. So Hyper Voice is going to pick up the double KO. We're going to be able to get off another Swords Dance. Now we're sitting plus four. Now we're sitting plus four. But the problem here now is we do not have Trick Room. But my Pokemon are pretty bulky. They're at full HP. I still have Terra if I need it. And we'll see what they want to do here. So I'm sitting here plus four. Insane. This thing should be able to one-tap pretty much any Pokemon that walks onto the field. And Trick Room finally ends. Let's see who their final two Pokemon are gonna be. One's gonna be Ogre Pond, okay. And the other's gonna be Moltres. So now this is where things kinda get weird because like we have Terra, and Terra would definitely help out Ursaluna, but we also Terra would help out you with grass. And I think we would rather go grass here. Because it's dark typing not looking so good up against the Krasma. So what I'm honestly thinking of doing here is maybe just like blood mooning this slot. And then going Terra. And just like a Sun Seal Strike into this slot. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we're terrestrializing into grass. We are terrestrializing into grass. Because if I get rid of Moltres, honestly, this Ogre Pond not really doing too much up against a grass type for the game. Because we already pretty much you know its moves, it's Horn Leech. Ivy Cudgel, which is water, spiky shield, and follow me. Makes the most sense. So Ivy Cudgel is going to fly in this slot. No big deal. I mean, you probably die. Yeah. You die out. I was going to end up protecting, but I think you end up going for a Fiery Wrath here. And as long as we don't get flinched, we should be fine. As long as we don't get flinched. No flinch is allowed. We won this game if we didn't flinch there. We win this game, no problem. It's ridiculous, because Sunsteel Strike KOs, and then we could just, this thing's not KOing us. We could just Photon guys with this thing, and it would KO. Oh my lord, I hate this game. Oh my lord, I hate this game. I hate this game, because look at look at the damage this does. This is nothing. That does nothing. Air Slash can KO us, isn't it? We survived this, now watch. Now watch, watch, this, this was KOing. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look, this KOs all day long. See you later. And then we would have had plenty of HP left over to soak up whatever move this thing has to offer. Now we're dead. Now we're dead. That is just crazy. Man, dude. Really hurts the soul. And the cross was set up. We played that one perfectly. We had everything going. Just to lose to a flinch, man. I probably should have protected Ursa Luna just to play it safe, but I mean I wasn't expecting to get flinched there. I really wasn't. So we'll go for a photon geyser. Ivy Cudge are gonna do us dirty. Not ideal, man. Played so well. Definitely deserve a win there. But hey, we're 0-1. That's how the game goes sometimes. But let's go hop into our second match. 
I finally understand when they say that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like a crumble cookie. I want it the full cookie. I want the full cookie and I don't want to flinch. So upset that we lost that last match. Not mad, just disappointed. But hey, we'll put that one aside. We'll move on to this Terrapagos battle here in match number two. But Terrapagos, really annoying, especially when it sets up Combine and it gets after it. I don't like to deal with that. So honestly, we're going to go Necrozma here. And we might go for Rigoraf, to be honest here. I might just try to pop Sword Dance and kind of match this Terrapagos' energy, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go for Rigoraf. We're going to go Necrozma here. We're going to pop Trick Room. We're going to bring Ursa Luna in the back end. And last but not least, do we go Amoongus or do we go Incineroar? Or even Flutter Meets out there. With the booster energy. I'm kind of leaning towards Incineroar. I mean, that's probably Water Urge for so maybe we might just want to go Moongus. You yeah, have a little support, especially if we want to set up our Necrozma or have Ursaluna on the field, just like a Rage Powder could be really good, just redirecting moves and kind of going from there. But I wonder who they're going to lead him. I would think Terap goes in at that point, they'll probably try to just, you know, set up Calm Minds and then hopefully I can just set up Swords Dance on top of that and then have the Trick Room and then get after him. And just do it that way, right? That's the whole plan. That's the whole plan. But there's the Terrapagos. Here's Alcreme. Now, this is probably Decorate Alcreme. Decorate Alcreme, right? Definitely Decorate Alcreme. He's probably looking just to get off some big time damage. I am going to go for a Sword Dance here, turn one. And I am going to go for a Trick. This is definitely Decorate Alcreme. See how they play this one. They're going to Terrasalize, go for Terra Star Storms. Alongside with decorate, this can be scary and terrifying, and I think we mm, it's gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough because this thing does have terror shell. Actually, it takes it off. We might have to just go like helping hand sun seal strike into that. We'll see. Yep, there's the decorate. Looking scary. We don't like that. A plus two on it, special attack. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No bueno. Terra star storm fine. Terra star storm. Getting after. Actually, like this combo is pretty sick. Let's see. Pokemon soak decently well. And now we get off Sword Dance here. So now we're boosting our stats here. Um, I could obviously just Sunsteel Strike into... Into Alcreme. But I believe we could just, you know, Helping Hand. We don't want Terrasalize. And just Sunsteel Strike into that. Actually, what does more damage? It's actually the same. It's actually the same. We're just going to go Sunseal Strike into this thing. And we're just going to follow it through with the Helping Hand here. The more damage, the better, right? It's a Witch on Alchemy. Makes me think that you're protecting this trap ghost here, right? Yeah, with Incineroar ready to fake out. Makes the most sense. I mean, I have Clear Amulet. I do have Clear Amulet. You can't fake out regardless, so... That's pretty good for us. So, how comes Helping Hand? How much damage is this Sunseal Strike doing? Can it just KO this thing? You gotta protect Terrapagos. I mean, that's fine. You can't fake me out, which is really good news for me. Really good news. Um, hmm. They could end up hard swapping. They could end up hard swapping. I'm still gonna do the same thing here. I think I do the same thing. I think I follow through. If they want to take out the crossway, if I can get rid of this Terrapagos, I think that's a uh, that's in our best interest, right? Because we have Ursaluna in the back, which is just such a good Pokemon. Ursaluna. We'll see what they want to do. If they want to swap to Rapgos, that's fine by me. As long as, it, as long as it's not plus two on special attack, it's not hitting that hard. See, they're gonna they're gonna keep to Rapgos in here. Fingers crossed for Sunshield Strike to pick up a KO. The chances are Necrozma's dead after this, right? What was KO? The plus two Sunshield Strike stab with helping hand. Is it enough damage to get rid of them? It is beautiful. So Terrapagos, get on out of here. We get rid of the Terrapagos. So that's 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 fine by me. I'll take that trade all day. I'll take that trade all day. So there just goes knockoff, and we're gonna die to that. Okay, I was gonna say, maybe we can soak a knockoff, but you get a crit. See, I was thinking maybe we could soak a knockoff, but of course they get a crit. I thought Flare Blitz would fly in that slot, and then we would have a problem. But I mean, that's totally fine. I have Trick Room ready to go. I still have my boy Amoongus ready to come out here. I have Ursuline ready to fly. I still have Terra if I want to use, like... If I want to Terrasalize and go for Hyper Voice. And they're going to bring out Amoongus of their own. Which is honestly so annoying. I might just swap Ursaluna into, or Amoongus into Ursaluna. I don't know. Two turns left in Trick Room. Let's see your speed. What's your speed? 51. He's just going to Spore me.
This is tough because they're just gonna spore me, man. They're just sporing me. I could protect, but then Frigorev just dies out. Um I'm gonna hard swap. Actually, I'm gonna just protect you. I'm gonna just protect you, and honestly, let's just try to get off some damage with Hyper Voice before you die. So there's this. I probably should have swapped them just so I can protect again, because the Moongus, yeah, the Spore is just, oh man, unbearable. Unbearable with Spore. So we get rid of Terapagos, which is great. Um, we get off this Hyper Voice. He's gonna end up KO my Frigoraf here with Knockoff, right? Yeah. Knockoff's gonna finish off Frigoraf. And, yeah, I probably should have swapped Amoongus first, because then I could've just protected it. Ursula in this turn. Now I'm sitting here. With this thing, right? I'm sitting here, he's gonna put me to sleep. We already know he's put me to sleep. You know, we might just have to play the sleep game back at him, right? Might have to just play the sleep game back at him. We're gonna go for Hyper Voice here. Um, we are gonna Terra Water, and we're just gonna go for a sleep here. We're just gonna try to put him to sleep. I probably should have went for Double Protect because we know sleep's coming in here. But if I go sleep, sleep, not bad, not bad. Sleep, sleep, we'll go sleep, sleep. So we don't have to trick him anymore. He's gonna end up withdrawing Incineroar. So Incineroar with the withdrawal here. Who are they gonna throw out here? A Kremlin is gonna come out here. So attacking is kind of low. They have a lot of support Pokemon. They have a lot of support Pokemon. And we're terrestrializing into water. This is just good for uh, Amoongus purposes. Well, not Amoongus purposes. It's good for Incineroar purposes. But honestly, Amoongus could put us to sleep now, which could be rather annoying. Definitely could. It definitely could. But I, I like Ursaloon here. Ursaloon is looking good. Oh, you have safety goggles, Alcremate. That's a smart play. So Alcremate with the safety goggles coming out here. So Alcremate's chilling here with the safety goggles. I mean, you can put me to sleep now. Trick Room is gone. Um, huh. They have Fake Out ready to go. Trick Room's done. And from here, we're just going to keep spamming Hyper Voice. And I mean, I guess we'll go for Palm Puff. Oh, man. We just need Ursuline to wake up, and then we have a shot at winning this matchup. We have a shot at winning this matchup. We're gonna end up withdrawing now. Creme, bring it back out. Cinnawar, and I'll probably put my Amoongus to sleep, let's be honest here. He probably puts Amoongus to sleep here. Intimidate, not gonna do anything. We're special attacking, which is great. Can we have a one turn sleep? Oh, we do have a one turn sleep. That's massive. That's massive, because Hyper Voice can now fly, doing some big damage. We love a one turn sleep. We love a one-turn sleep. We absolutely adore a one-turn sleep. He's gonna spore my move. So from here, I mean, we kind of just have to protect Ursula in here. We kind of have to. Because we don't want to just get faked out and put back to sleep. That's a big issue. So I'm just gonna end up protecting him and going into, I don't even know, like a palm puff here. I guess. I guess. We're just trying to do some damage here. Let's try and do some damage. So, Protect comes out here. My Moong is going to be asleep. He's definitely faking us out, trying to put us back to sleep. We're not allowing that. The real question is, who do we attack? We have to attack Moongus, right? Oh, you're pollen puffing. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. I mean, I can one-shot Incineroar pretty much whenever I want. Moong is going to wake up here. Okay, so now we're sitting in the driver's seat. Now we're sitting in the driver's seat. The real question is, is Hyper Voice KO? I wish I had Terror, because I would love to just KO with Hyper Voice. I think it can KO Moongus. Or do I play it safe? I could honestly just play it safe. Now we're going to go for Hyper Voice, and we're just going to Rage Powder. We're just going to Rage Powder here. Just a Incineroar shot, right? So we're going to see a withdrawal out here of a Moongus, which is fine. So Moongus gets the withdrawal, it's gonna have regenerator, it's gonna get HP back, and we're just gonna go into a rage powder here. We are just powdering up on the rages. He's gonna end up going for a knockoff. He's gonna take off my Rocky Helmet and actually do a decent amount of damage. But he is gonna take Rocky Helmet damage, which is gorgeous. Which is lovely. Now Hyper Voice is going to fly here, do some big time damage on the Alcreme. I do lose a little bit of HP. 
And we can just KO Incineroar with Hyper Voice right here. So obviously, I want to go for Hyper Voice, and I'm just going to go for another Rage Powder here. It's in our best interest to just go for Rage Powders. It's in our best interest. So we are sitting here having a solid matchup here. Really good one. We went for the Necrozma KO to get rid of Terrapagos, and we just took out our biggest attackers. They had a big time Terrapagos, I had a big time Necrozma. We went trade for trade there. Which I felt like I have to. Like, if that Terrapagos was on the field any longer, we would have lost this match seven hours ago. But, we are here. We're in the battle here. Um, they're going to Witch all Incineroar. They're going to go back into Amunga. So, they just want to fake out for later. No big deal. Um, kind of scared of what Alcremia could do. I'm kind of scared of that. Rage Powder going to fire. I can always Palm Puff back up my Ursaluna, which might be a next turn kind of thing. Just get us some HP. And he's just going to go for Dazzling. Which actually... Does a decent amount of damage to my Ursaluna. But, oh, critical hit on our Creme KOs. It. And a crit on Amoongus. We love a good old crit. We love a good old crit. And now's probably where we just double protect. Right, we have protect on Amoongus, right? Spore, Pollen Puff, Rage Powder, protect. Correct? Correct? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. So yeah, now it's going to be a double protector. Actually, I'm just going to Palm Puff and just KO Amoongus. I'm just going to double protect. I'll play it safe. I'll play it safe. Because next turn, I can just Rage Powder. Which would be my best interest. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's my play all day. That is hands down my play. Hands down the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna overthink it. It seems it seems good. The double protect. Their last chance was to fake out right there. And if we just rage powder this, Ursaluna outspeeds the Moongus and KO with hyper hyper voice, and yeah, it can pick up the double KO. So cool. Love it. Rage powder out. We don't need a pomp up. We don't need to get back HP on Ursaluna. We just need to hit this attack. And they finally cancel battle. What a solid second match. We're having some really solid matchups with this Necrozma team today. The first match, we lost to a flinch. It came down to the wire either way. And then the second match, came down to the wire. We sacrificed our Necrozma, get rid of Terry the Terrapagos. And then my boy Ursula in the back end came in clutch. But we're going up against a Sligu team. Probably Evo Light Sligu with Hisui and Zoro, who could also be Evo Light. Okay, they also have Torkoal. They got Frigograph, they got Annihilate, and then they have Gastron. So Final Gambit, Annihilate. Kind of looking scary. Honestly, it's looking real scary. I'm going to go into Frigograph, though. I'm going to go into Necrozma and uh, get after it that way. Ursuline is going to be great. And then last but not least, do we end up going Incineroar? Or do we go in with a Pokemon maybe like Fluttermane? I think Incineroar is fine. I do like Incineroar. Just because it's fire typing can kind of deal with the Torkoal. It has knockoff as well. Can take off Evo Light items. Yeah, we, we, we love Incineroar. It's just too good not to bring, right? But Necrozma thriving out so far. Swords Dance going crazy. We use Swords Dance in both battles. It just hits so hard afterwards. I'm pretty sure once it gets off like one Swords Dance, if it's hitting a Pokemon with a, a neutral move, it's pretty much one shot in it every single time. As you guys seen, we one shot at that, uh, that Terrapagos there. But we did also have the Helping Hand boost. Because Terrapagos is a bulky Pokemon. It really is. It's pretty bulky. But they're going to end up going into Annihilate and Frigraph. And now this is where things get a bit scary on my end, right? I still want to go for Swords Dance. I still kind of want to go for Swords Dance. And honestly, I might just double protect. Um, this looks like a Final Gambit set, right? This screams Final Gambit set. This screams Final Gambit. You know what? I'm just going to protect, and I'm just going to make sure that Trick Room gets out and out. I'm going to make sure Trick Room. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have popped Trick Room. Let me be honest here. Because they're probably popping Trick Room. And I'm popping Trick Room. That's where things get scary. Okay, no, cool. We'll pop Trick Room out of our own. So he ends up protecting you. I think Final Gambit's gonna go into this slot here, right? Yes. It's a good call on my end. Great call on my end. Now I'm able to pop Trick Room. So now I'm here with Trick Room. And a Pokemon that I'm worried about is going to be the Turtle. The turtle is going to be a problem. This is where I use Photon guys are right in this slot. We know he's choice scarf and we might want to just double down. Because if I can get rid of that without taking damage. I mean I think Photon Geyser could probably KO. 
could go Helping Hand Photon Geyser. I think we're just gonna Shadow Ball double down. Give me my play. We're gonna double down this Pokemon. I was gonna say if they want to withdraw it into Torkoal, Torkoal's gonna take damage. And now, is this Torkoal? I'm hoping it's Torkoal. Yes. 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 Torkoal taking some damage. Beautiful. So Torkoal's gonna take that. Torkoal's also gonna take this, which is a cool looking move. And it's almost gonna drop, drop down. It's almost gonna die out here. Come up, and she's gonna go for it. And it's gonna fail. Okay, cool. I love it. I love it. So from here. This is where things get a bit tougher on my end. I'm forced to kind of swap my Necrozma because it's going to die out to a heat, right? Let's be honest here. I can't Terrasalize it into grass. We're going to have to go into Incineroar here. And furthermore, we're just going to pop a Hyper Voice and just try to KO the Torkoal with it. Because, yeah, Torkoal's looking terrifying. If I can get rid of Torkoal, I really like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. But I have to get rid of Torkoal first and foremost. I'm going to hard swap my Necrozma back into, or not back into, but into Incineroar. And I'll intimidate these special attacks. There's no big deal. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. Both my Pokemon should soak, which they do. Frigograph. Can you go first? You do go first. And that is Zoroak, actually. Or not Zoroak, uh, however you pronounce it. The, the pre evolution. Which makes sense. I was wondering why you were using Comeuppance. But yeah, Zoroak is here. <laughs> that thing has uh, illusion as well. But we get rid of Torkoal. And now there's three furry graphs on the field. I love this game. I hate it earlier when we uh when we didn't get flinched, but now I love it. Now I love it. All furry graphs. Giraffes going crazy. We love it. We love it. I'm gonna end up using knockoff onto Zoro here, and uh I'm gonna end up Shadow Ball. I'm gonna double down Zoro. Zoro or I forget the first names. Zorua. I forget the first evolution. But it's here. It's here. It's having fun. But we're gonna see a Terra type come out there. I think it might be into which Frigograph? The real Frigograph or the fake Frigograph? Let's see. I don't know. I think that's the real Frigograph. I think that's real Frigis. Is that the real one on the right? Yeah. So the real Frigis is going to end up Thrasalizing. And a big time Protect comes out from the from the, the, the Z. We'll call it the Z. We're just going to call it fake Frigi. Dazzle Gleam is going to fly here. This is actually kind of scary. It's going to KO Frigograph. But at this point, I can bring out Necrozma. I can Sunseal Strike that slot all day long. Necrozma ready to come back out and about. We're not dealing with Heat Waves anymore. We're not dealing with Eruptions. Final Gambit's not on the field. We're ready to go right back into Necrozma. Right back into it. The Necrozma out and about. We're going to save our Terror. We don't need it just yet. And we'll go for a knockoff into this slot. It's going to be... Is this suit? Why does it say not very effective? Oh, because it's taking the role of the Fairy Typing. It's just getting out of hand at this point. I'm going to end up going into this. This little Sunseal Strike into the Fruit Graph. That's weird how it says super effective, not not super effective. Because it's copying, it's acting like it has the Terror type. And is that true? Does that thing now have the Terror type? I'm actually very curious to see if this knockoff is going to be not very effective. Because that'd be crazy if that you basically get two Terrors. Let's see. I'm actually, I want to see this so bad. You better not KO my Incineroar. I really want to see this. But Necrozma is going to pick up some big time damage here, whether it swaps out into its Annihilate or if it stays in here. If it stays in here instead. If it swaps out, I mean, it is going to take some damage, but I believe there's one extra turn left in the room, and you being Choice Scarf makes me know that you don't have Protect. He's going to end up going for a double Protect here. It's going to fail. That's if going to fly here. You should soak this Incineroar, right? Yeah, and now your berry's coming out here. Now you get to eat up on a little berry. A little snack. A little mid-game snack. I snack up, I go back up to pretty much the same HP as I just had. Sunseal Strike's gonna wave bye-bye to the first giraffe. See you later. The real giraffe. The real Ferrigis. We'll say bye-bye to you. And then... I'm curious to see. Does this thing have a Terra type? Should be super effective. So knockoff's gonna fly here. It is still super effective, and this thing's gonna go down to 1 HP and sash up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this Zoro actually really not doing anything. So Rua, I, I, don't, I, I don't even know this thing's name. I kind of forget, but Trick Room ends. And I mean, you could go for a final game, but I might end up terrestrializing the Krasma here. I mean, fighting's gonna be neutral. Ghost is scary. Ghost is scary. 
So I'm just gonna do this, and I'm I'm just gonna end up Terrasons. Actually, should I save my Terra type? No, because normal doesn't do anything. No, we, we should use Terra type here. When Terrasons here, just go for a Photon Geyser. A photon Geyser. Yeah, because I I was I was hoping Ursula maybe had the Ghost Terra type. And honestly, I, sh I should have known, but they just canceled the match. So there we go. 2 1. We'll take that winning record with Necrozma all day. Dust main Necrozma killing it in today's video. Loving it with the sword stance and the frigoraph to pop trick room. We also had helping hand, which we showcased today with Necrozma doing some big time damage in match number two. But honestly, we probably should have went 3 0 today. We ended up going 2 1, but the 3 0 record was knocked away from us from a flinch from a fiery wrath. We don't like that one bit, but honestly, I kind of jinxed that, right? Before we even, or they even used Fiery Wrath, I was just like, we win this match as long as we don't get flinched. And once I said that, the Poke guys was just like, yo, Jeans, you did it to yourself. You're getting flinched here. And I lost the match because of it. But it's all good. We won the next two matches, and we thrived out in today's video. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. It's just like you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.